Circuit Breaker has changed my perspective on my health. Circuit Breaker taught me to think out of the box. The Circuit Breaker made me realise that simple things in life um, can make you happy. Circuit Breaker changes the way I do my business selling photo peering. The Circuit Breaker completely changed my perspective on how to open a successful food and beverage business. Circuit Breaker changed my view on personal time and who I choose to spend my personal time with. Circuit Breaker changed my perspective on what a F&B business can be. I think the Circuit Breaker really changed the way that my life's rhythms worked. The Circuit Breaker changed my perspective of possibilities and opportunities. I decided to start my own home-based business uh, to be able to share uh, food that I love with other people. I've lost 15 kg from 90 kg pre-Circuit Breaker to 75 kg now. So I needed something that I could do to really, you know, get my mind off the doom and gloom. Flights came to a standstill. Then I was introduced to the Care Ambassador Program at KTPH. After that, I joined as a patient care officer. Me, Desiree and Jay spent about a year building Sega House uh, by ourselves. Uh, and it was always the idea was to uh, have it hand built and have the soul. Um, of the space really come through. Building Sego House for a whole year and then having to be stuck in lockdown was really, really hard. We were no longer offering a product, we were actually offering a service and a feeling that each and every single one of our guests was to experience in a different way. With the pandemic, I was grounded in Singapore, so therefore it gave me an opportunity to really look at my life and see, hey, with all of this new space that's being taken up, uh, what can I be doing to serve the community around me? I've always been very interested in healthcare, and I had the opportunity to try out as a care ambassador at KTPH, after which I discovered that it's really something that I want to do and I like to do. So I thought, why not take the leap? Since there's not much walk-in customer during the circuit breaker, that's where delivery help to increase the revenue for the business. Being a healthcare worker and in the front line, it has uh, made me realise the importance of uh, being healthy and staying fit so that I am able to render care to the people in the community as well as uh, the migrant workers. As I was um, deployed to the dormitory uh, to support the medical post, I had to don uh, the full PPE um, whenever I was working there and as a result, uh, it made me feel very tired um, wearing it. Hence, uh, I didn't feel so healthy then and I realised that I needed to make the change. Uh, what inspired me to start was I wanted to share this wonderful recipe by my father with other people. Well, I always loved to doodle, you know, but uh, I didn't do it in a very sustained fashion. The goal to sort of focus myself and motivate myself so I thought, why not celebrate my birthday in November, completing 57 pieces of artwork. We had to focus on getting a customer base without having our venue open and uh, figuring out how to reach out to people. For me, my, my large motivation was obviously the time and effort that Desiree and George had put into building this business alongside myself. It would have been easy for us to just admit defeat and close up before we even started. But looking at how hard our peers were working, it would have done them an injustice for us to just stop. So the circuit breaker has uh, made me realise uh, how important it is to stay healthy um, so as to be able to care for yourself as well as your loved ones and for myself as a nurse to care for um, my patients. It opened us up as business owners to improve our online marketing and also digitalization. Circumstances can change very quickly and I think it taught us how to adapt to the situation. During these times, you know, we tend to take a pause and reflect on, you know, what's truly the meaning of happiness, you know, and meaning in life. For me, it's really seeking out the simple pleasures in life and drawing could afford me that. To me, the biggest thing to take away was like the importance of spending time with family. One thing the pandemic definitely taught me was to appreciate everything that we had just our freedom, the ability to go out whenever we want. It showed me that I was more hopeful than I ever thought I was. Um, 
I always thought I was a glass, glass half empty kind of person, but I think Circuit Breaker allowed me to realize that you can always make the best of a bad situation. I started volunteering a little bit more with uh, this organization called Engineering Good. We collected laptops and refurbished them for underprivileged people who needed them for home-based learnings, home-based studies. And that really, really brought a whole bunch of new people into my life. I would advise everybody to never give up. Not to take anything for granted. As things get better, not to get complacent. Seek out inspiration. Maybe reach out to community that has the same interests. Be ready for change. You gotta lay from the front, get in the trenches, get dirty with the people, and that's how you earn respect. And that's, that's I believe, the only way to build a successful business. Never be afraid to try something new, no matter how old you are. And then always think positive, because nothing is impossible. One piece of advice that I would love to give to people who are thinking about volunteering or thinking about serving is don't think anymore, just start to do it. Don't hesitate anymore, just go out and go serve. I think something like what happened with the pandemic would be a great time to kind of relook about the economy of the business and how food and beverage and the service industry as a whole can be something that folks in Singapore would want to be a part of. I think from the pandemic, I think we learned that we, we have to look after one another, you know, in times of crisis. Um, and not be selfish. What I hope to learn from the pandemic is really a way to look around the community that I am in and see how I can be serving more and more people around them because I think that there are a lot of times where we don't really listen very much to the people around us. We love to talk but I think we need to learn and I would like to learn a little bit more about how to listen. It is never too late to embark on something that you want to achieve in life. Um, as long as you have the capability, just get it started. Um, there's this saying where it is better to have tried and failed than never to try at all. I think we handle crisis very well and I hope Singaporeans don't take for granted what we have. Lah.